Hello, I'm going to walk you through creating a JWT population lambda today in FusionAuth. So the first thing you need to do is log in to the dashboard. And I'm going to walk you through the steps in the user interface today, but you could absolutely do the same thing all via the API. So you want to go to customizations and then to lambdas. And you can see that FusionAuth ships with a number of different lambdas. But we're going to create a new one. So you have to give it a name. So that would be something like add favorite color. Every time a JSON Web Token is created, when this lambda is applied, this code will be run. And so we're going to add our favorite color. Our type is JWT populate. You can have, as we saw earlier, multiple different types of lambdas. Uh, the ID, if you have a particular ID you need because of an external dependency, you can specify one. Otherwise, DiffusionAuth will create one for you. The debug switch basically lets you turn on additional debugging. And that's really useful for development, for production. So you should definitely turn it off. So we can go ahead and move on to the code of the Lambda function. So this is a JavaScript function that gets executed every time a JSON web token is created. And so you can put in any valid JavaScript code. Uh, you can't import any libraries right now. You can't reach out to external APIs, but you can modify the contents of the JSON web token. And as far as inputs, you actually have the JSON web token as it would be delivered, the user object and the registration object. JSON web tokens or JOTs hold any kind of structured JSON. So we set the color to be a string right here, but we could definitely make it an array of favorite colors if we wanted to. As it's kind of boring, this is going to force everyone to have the same favorite color, which, you know, some people might not like red. So what we can do is actually make this dynamic. As I mentioned, we can't reach out to an external API that is on the roadmap, but it is not currently available. But what we can do is we can pull data off of the user or registration object. What this is going to do is it's going to pull the value of favorite color from the user.data object, if that's available. So one thing to think about is how does that data get into the user.data object? Well, you can push that in via a registration form. You can push that in via an API, or it could be some custom data process that you just provide with the FusionAuth API key that pushes that data in there. You might have noticed while I was typing that if I have something invalid, the uh, editor lets me know that. So it looks good. We're going to go ahead and save that. So we've added the Lambda. Now our, the next thing we need to do is actually assign it to an application. So each of these lambdas happen at different points in the life cycle, but the JWT populate lambda happens again, whenever a JWT is created. You could associate with a tenant or with an application. We're going to associate with an application and the application association overrides the tenant association. So if we go to the Pied Piper application and we go to the JSON web token tab, you can see that if we scroll to the bottom, we can choose different lambdas for our access token and for our ID token. To make it simple, I'm just going to do it for the access token today. 
So we save that off. And then I have set up uh, this user to be able to log into this application. So I've created a registration for them. And I could walk you through like kind of a general OAuth authentication, but it's going to be easier if I just run this login script. So I've already written this script. And when I log in, I am going to get back a JSON web token. Here's my JSON web token, which we can cut and paste into your favorite JSON web token debugger. And you can see that this user did not have fair color, so they got the default value. And that's all you need to do. That JSON web token is signed and can be presented to any of your APIs or other endpoints that normally consume a JSON web token. I hope this video shows you some of the power of JSON web tokens and FusionAuths populate Lambda.